G'day guys, how you going? Welcome to the Chingy Lee Show. Uh, this is episode 4 of my Easter egg continuation on transit and we are getting pretty thin on ideas. Um, I don't have the footage for all of it, I couldn't be bothered uh, chopping it all up for you to show you exactly what happened, but um, basically I went through the comments on episode 3 and uh, we tried to just put together um, some of the suggestions that were kind of reasonable. Uh, someone said, uh, try and make all the electrical lines connect after you shoot the doors at the same time. No the same time the electrical cables do. Um, that didn't really make any sense to me. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe someone can explain that to me. Um, we are going to have a look at the Morse code at the end of this video. I have got that for you. Um, I've known about the Morse code uh, on the stoplight and at the tower for a long time. Um, I didn't think you guys would be interested in that, but I will. Uh, I will address that right at the very end and uh, and tell you what that actually means. Um, someone said, "Hey, look for four gold parts and shoot them at the same time." I don't know what you're talking about. If you can tell me where those gold parts are, I will. Uh, I will try and do something with them. Um, yeah, basically, um, we just worked through all the suggestions we could possibly uh, possibly think of and. And that were actually doable and uh, that we could look at and we didn't really get too far a uh, couple of things we did find though is uh, well a couple of things we did is uh, we did the Easter egg again uh, not the Easter egg the uh, achievement Tower of Babel we redid the Richtofen side and um, I'll play a bit of video in the background here um, that you know it was just after afterwards we were shooting the door and uh, hanging around town and we went for a search right around the map as much as we could possibly find uh, there is a TV in uh, in the farm that uh, it actually talks to you but we've never actually been able to make it talk to us so we don't know exactly how to activate that but um, we will look into that more maybe maybe that has something to do with it um, but one of the things we found uh, a little bit interesting is that uh, if you do the Richtofen side of the Easter egg, you get uh, the tower shoots blue or purple or whatever color you want to call them, blue lines or electricity bolts or whatever they are up the sides. And if you do the the Maxis side, he shoots up uh, like orange or red, I guess, lines up the tower. And uh, we actually, in this game, we had all four of us in here, and then right when we got to finishing the Easter egg, I got one of my friends to actually leave the game, because he had actually finished the Maxis side last time. And when he left, um, we wanted to finish the Easter egg, and then have him come back in, and see what happens if you've got someone who's done the Maxis side, and someone who's done the Richtofen side last. Uh, in the one game, so he actually came back in and nothing happened, but it wasn't till we restarted the game that we uh, we found something interesting happening, and I'll skip to that now. So we've uh, we've started a new game, we've just got to the town, and I uh, just grabbed some points out of the box, and I'm just going to go up and grab Jug, and uh, we're going to try shooting that door, and uh, we'll have a look at the tower as well, and see if we can see anything interesting. I don't know where I was running to, but uh, there we go, we got Jug. We're going to go down and have a look at that door in the tower and basically with the tower what it was doing is the colours were combining on the tower. You've got sometimes it shoots purple up, sometimes it shoots red up. Um, you can see that, that purple line shot up to the uh, the door there. There you go, you got the red one as well. And um, I don't know if it really displays it that well and I might even have to see if I can find something to compare it to but... Uh, the tower actually sort of, uh, I don't know how to describe it, it has, it has like these, um, it, it glows and shoots like sparkly shit up the side of it as well as glowing the purple and red. So um, I'll find a better clip of it here in a minute and, uh, and we'll show you. So we went running out towards the far, on the, the cornfields, the crops, and you can see it there, the, um, the, the light shining up the side is like all, all glistening and whatnot, whereas it doesn't usually do that. So, I mean, that that might be something. Maybe there's there's some something we've got to do while we've got two people who have finished either side of the Easter egg. I don't know. It's um, 
you know, it's just it's just one other thing in this that we've uh, that we've discovered that we've never really seen before, and it was just based on a suggestion. So we uh, we're gonna play another game about around that and see if we can make anything else of this. Um, I've actually seen a video, and uh, I don't have permission to show you the video, but uh, it's a video of a guy who's done this, and then he's actually where up the side of the tower. Um, and I'll link you to it in the description. Up the side of the tower, he's got um, the, one of those balls of light going round and round uh, the whatever you call it, <laughs> the the light, the Morse code thing. So I'll uh, I'll link you to that in the description, as I said. But um, we couldn't really work out anything else to do in transit. We had to search everywhere around the map we tried shooting the bucket in front of the shack we tried shooting the axe we tried putting these uh these turbines under here we've tried putting the nav cards in we've tried emping the bus driver we've tried emping the bus driver in multiple locations we've tried restarting the bus driver we've tried emping him and restarting him on the uh on the bridge on the entrance to down near the diner before he says about the about the nav card and um his gps failing so We've tried absolutely everything we can think of, and uh, again guys, if you have any suggestions on anything we might be able to do, just leave in the comments section down below. We want to we want to get to it, so just definitely, definitely throw that down there, and uh, and we will look at it. We always look at it, so. Um, one other interesting little point I've got here is uh, I've come across as someone else's video, and I decided to cover it as well. Uh, someone's actually ripped the source codes from... Black Ops 2 Zombies, or, or Black Ops 2, more to the point, so... So I've got that on screen now. Most of it seems pretty uninteresting, but, um... You know, as you go through the list, uh, this is... What this is, is it's the source code, all the commands, um... All the things that come up on your screen for Black Ops 2, so, um... You know, we've got lots of different things right throughout, and most of this looks like it's from the campaign. So we um we're just gonna keep scrolling down, and uh, and see what else we can see because there is a bit of stuff that seems to relate to the zombies. So I won't read through all of it. As you can see down the right hand side there, this list just goes on forever and ever. Well, not forever and ever, but <laughs> it goes for a long time. And again, uh, you can see the the uh, the address to this site up the top there. But I will link it again in the description so you guys can. Have a look at it, but um, you've got all these doors here and barriers and stuff to open, and you've actually got one there that says um, close. You got to you know hold your activate button to close the door, and uh, there's also a door on there that costs five grand, and we've never actually seen one that's so expensive. So, a couple of the other things you can see there's an AK-47 and a Bowie knife. Uh, obviously, the Bowie knife we've we've seen before, and the AK-47 we haven't. So. Um, there's all the, uh, all the perks there, as you can see, and one of the perks, actually, I think it shows it down a little bit lower, is, um, now I forgot what it's called, oh, Deadshot Daiquiri, so, um, you know, it sort of points towards the fact that these codes are either written into the PC version of Black Ops 2, and you would think they'd be written into the, uh, the Xbox and PlayStation version as well, but perhaps they... Uh, are for future maps and they've been written into um, into this this game already and maybe they're for future maps I don't really know how they do all this encoding thing because I don't really do that but um, you can see like there's all these weapons that um, that we haven't seen and some we have seen uh, you got the old p90 uh, you got the thunder gun you've got something called damage aid and can doiler and in my opinion, damage aid and can't they I mean they sound like uh, they sound like perks. So we might be seeing a couple of new perks and there is a new zombies map coming up and I will uh, I will have a video for that very soon. But uh, the new map's called uh, Die Rise, which is gonna be awesome, by the way. But um yeah, you can see all these things here and I mean the list just keeps going and going and going and as I said, if you wanna have a good look through that there's heaps of other stuff you can look at, but uh, we're going to scroll down and uh, see if we can see any more zombie stuff, because I'm sure it was in here. Um, well, there you go. There's you know, We just passed some of the um, 
some of the explosive crossbows and whatnot, and uh, you got the wonder waffles there. Uh, what else you got? You got deposit uh, and withdraw money, which is there. And there's something else down here that says zombies are attracted to the team with the meat. Stay alive as long as you can by throwing the meat at your opponent's side. To me, that sounds like a new uh, a new zombie mode. Like um, <laughs> I don't know, maybe some kind of uh, some kind of zombie meat volleyball or something. I don't know where you got to throw the meat over the other side and make the other team go down. But um, this is apparently created by someone called Tom BMX. Uh, if anyone who doesn't know who Tom BMX is, he is pro syndicate. So if you haven't seen any of these, any of his videos, go look him up. Just type syndicate into the YouTube bar up the top. Once you finish watching this video, of course. And uh, you will find him. Uh, he does a lot of good zombie videos. I don't know if Tom BMX is actually the person who created this or they've just tagged that in there because um, he's very popular with the zombies. But um, anyway, that's uh, that's about that. I guess you can take that as a grain of salt um, or with a grain of salt. It, it, may be, it may be something that someone's found straight out of the game. Maybe someone's created this... Um, it doesn't surprise me how much stuff people make up for these zombies. And um, I've actually had so many people message me and say, look, I found the end of the zombies, I found the end of the zombies, I found the end of the zombies, and they haven't done anything. And no one's no one's been able to prove to me that they've gone any further than I have. So I'm really interested to see if, you know, if, if you guys have any uh, ideas, anything, we will, uh, we will definitely get to them. One last thing I wanted to talk about was the zombie rankings, and um, basically we've been playing Grief, uh, probably about five, five to ten games of Grief every day for you know the last couple of weeks, and we don't seem to be getting anywhere in the zombie rankings still. Now the only thing I can think of that we aren't doing that's you know better than the people who are around us in rank, because I've got friends who are you know they've got less kills, less everything than me. But they've got a higher rank, and I, I don't understand it. But then looking back on their games, the only thing I can see that they are doing that's better than me is they're killing more zombies in a game, or they're getting to higher rounds in their game. So that's the only things left we can think of to try. And uh, just on one other quick note, a guy named Peter Livingston, who's a tech lead of zombies at Treyarch, He's, uh, he's had a few people tweeting him lately uh, about the ranking system. And most people have said, and I'll, I'll highlight a couple of these ones here, they've, they've said that you know they're playing and playing and playing and playing and their rank just isn't going up. And his typical response to that is, you have to play better. So it's still, it's still really unclear about you have to play better. What, what the hell does that mean? Because, I mean, you can have perfect games and only get to round 10 but just have perfect games over and over again where you, you might you might get you know 500 kills and then the one down is where you lose and how i've had that so many times in uh, in grief mode and i'm not leveling up so if anyone uh, if anyone does know anything else about the ranking system feel free to uh comment down below and if you just think you know don't be afraid just throw a comment down there and um We'll look into it. What we're currently trying to do is, uh, on top of all the zombies we're at playing at the moment, we're trying to have a game, at least one game every night, where we get to round 25 and kill at least a 1,000 zombies. So we're going to be doing that every night for at least a whole week, a whole seven days, and uh, we're going to see how we go. But um, anyway, guys, I know this has been kind of long-winded and it's just been me gas-bagging the whole time, but... Um, if you wanted to leave a like down below, I'd really appreciate that. And uh, I will see you very soon in episode 5. Thank you. So there was one little bit that I did forget to uh, to put into this video. So I'm just going to tack it on right at the end here. And that's the Morse code. Now I didn't bother actually recording all the Morse code. So I'm just going to go to some standard old running around. But uh, I'll put some text in of what that actually says. And um, basically, what you've got is uh, is just a few different messages. I reckon they're from Maxis, but uh, it's helped me, so I can help you. Um, I, I mean, I don't know what uh, what exactly these all mean. Uh, there's uh, the future is ours to destroy. 
you know that that might be something from Richtofen even maybe they're messages from both uh, power is knowledge um, I you know maybe maybe Treyarch's just trolling us too we never know uh, go to the light go to the light who knows what that means I certainly don't uh, what else we got we got stay close to me um, that that must mean something. Anyone anyone got any suggestions? Energy can only be transformed. Well, I'm sure that's someone's famous theory of energy transformation. You know how Triarch is. We shall prevail. That again, that sounds like maybe Richtofen or Maxis, you know, that um, they're both after their own mission and they but they both want to win and I guess they're against each other, so I don't know, it's, um, it's confusing. <laughs> I'm sure Triarch throws these things in to confuse everybody and make everybody question everything they're doing on this map, so. Anyway guys, sorry that I uh, tacked this in at the end there, and um, I, I believe there is actually a couple more too. Um, they, they don't seem that important, um, yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Later.